Hello and welcome to my character building overview for Fallout 4. So this is going to be a short series that just has a few videos on how to build a good character. Uh, overall it's very simple. The things you generally want to consider are how do you want to kill things, uh, what stats should you take and why, lone wander or not, and then I'm going to finish up with some of the best perks overall. So this is the first video. This will be how do you want to kill things. So it's a very simple question. Uh, so let's actually open up the perk chart. So there's a few different ways to kill things. Uh, you have melee builds. Uh, for example, you can use fist builds that use like brass knuckles, uh, the power fist, and so on. You have melee builds that use uh, like the super sludge, uh, swords, uh, baseball bats, things like this. These are strength based builds. You have the big guns, also known as heavy gunner in Fallout 4 type builds, where you use like mini guns, rocket launchers, mini nuke launchers, and so on. Uh, like the Gatlin, the laser Gatlin is affected by this as well. So you have like your, your melee builds, your heavy gun builds. You have riflemen, which is just, you know, any non automatic rifle. So this includes the hunting rifle almost every shotgun as long as it's not automatic and some laser weapons as well there's like the laser rifle um, the rail gun things like this uh, you also have the pistol perk gunslinger this is under agility this scales your pistol damage with any pistol you find in the game uh, specifically non-automatic though because there are automatic pistols which brings us to Commando, this scales your automatic weapon damage. So, interestingly enough, if you have a pistol and you make it automatic, it no longer benefits from Gunslinger and instead benefits from Commando. Uh, also note that most weapons in Commando can be made to be semi-automatic and will therefore be governed by Riflemen. So you can take uh, certain weapons and make them automatic and then they'll become you know, governed by Commando and you can take that same weapon or similar weapons and make them non-automatic. So these are just some considerations. Uh, overall, you have you can easily get access to Gunslinger, Commando, Rifleman, Iron Fist, and Big Leagues. The only thing that's really hard to get access to is Heavy Gunner, and that's assuming you have five strength, which is a little deeper in. Uh, there is one final form of offense, Demolition Experts. Uh, this scales your explosive damage. So you have grenades, you have mines, you have Molotov cocktails. This also scales the rocket launcher and mini nuke, which also are scaled by Heavy Gunner. So with both Demolition Expert and Heavy Gunner, if you want to make a bazooka build, that would be very strong. You can get insane damage numbers between the two of them. And also you could run like grenades and scale Molotov cocktails and so on. So when you play the game, the, the first question you should ask yourself is, what do I want to kill enemies with? Now, there's other things to consider. Do you want to use VATS? Uh, if so, you're going to want Agility and Perception. Uh, another thing to consider is, do I want to use Sneak? If so, you're going to want Agility. And then a, a, a third thing, well, not a third thing, even furthermore, I guess, <laughs> you want to consider if you want to run Blitz. So Blitz lets a melee build be extremely powerful by letting you teleport to enemies for VATS attacks. And it also will eventually increase the damage the further the distance with tier 2, with rank 2 in it. So Blitz with a melee build is insane. So like you could make a, a sneak Blitz uh, Vats melee build. You could make um, a real-time melee build. Those are probably, that's probably the worst way of doing it. Like you could be like a real-time sneak assassin or something. That could actually be viable. Uh, you can be a rifleman, heavy gunner, pistol dude machine gun guy and so on. So th the first thing you want to do before you even decide what stats you need and want is to determine what the hell am I going to do to kill people. If it's using a rifle, then that's great. Um, you don't actually have to invest in perception if you want riflemen. Uh, you can actually just start the first quest um, where you res rescue Preston Garvey and there is a perception bobblehead that will push you to two perception and you can just get your two perception for riflemen without any investment. Uh, for agility, you could always go get the agility bobblehead, but it's kind of in an endgame area. So if you want to run commando right away, I would just recommend putting a point in. <laughs> if you're going to run uh, vats, you're going to need high agility anyway. So so yeah, that is the opening video for this little mini-series. 
uh, what kind of gun are you going to run, essentially, or what kind of offense, you know, melee weapons, do you want sneak, uh, do you want to use vats or not? These are, like, essential questions for, like, how you make your build. Like, if you plan on using heavy gunner, you should at least get five strength. So, and same thing with demolition expert. If you want to use a lot of grenades or you want to specifically use a rocket launcher, it could be worth it to get five perception and five strength to scale your rocket launcher with both of these perks. So, so yeah, that's the end of part one. I'll see you in part two.